a chapter a day to brighten your way. God's love for you will never change. Hello, friends. Let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Leviticus chapter two. In the last chapter, we looked at the burnt offering, but in this chapter, we will look at another type of sacrifice, the grain offering. This involved using plants and crops to make offerings to God. The main difference between these two types of offerings is that the burnt offering has blood, which represents Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, while the grain offering has no blood, which symbolizes Jesus' good character. Both salvation and character are indispensable to our lives. Let's learn about this special type of sacrifice. Let's read chapter two together. Leviticus, chapter two. When anyone brings a grain offering as an offering to the Lord, his offering shall be of fine flour. He shall pour oil on it and put frankincense on it, and bring it to Aaron's sons, the priests. And he shall take from it a handful of the fine flour and oil with all of its frankincense, and the priest shall burn this as its memorial portion on the altar, a food offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. But the rest of the grain offering shall be for Aaron and his sons. It is a most holy part of the Lord's food offerings. When you bring a grain offering baked in the oven as an offering, it shall be unleavened loaves of fine flour mixed with oil, or unleavened wafers smeared with oil. And if your offering is a grain offering baked on a griddle, it shall be of fine flour unleavened mixed with oil. You shall break it in pieces and pour oil on it. It is a grain offering. And if your offering is a grain offering cooked in a pan, it shall be made of fine flour with oil. And you shall bring the grain offering that is made of these things to the Lord. And when it is presented to the priest, he shall bring it to the altar. And the priest shall take from the grain offering its memorial portion and burn this on the altar, a food offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. But the rest of the grain offering shall be for Aaron and his sons. It is a most holy part of the Lord's food offerings. No grain offering that you bring to the Lord shall be made with leaven, for you shall burn no leaven nor any honey as a food offering to the Lord. As an offering of first fruits, you may bring them to the Lord, but they shall not be offered on the altar for a pleasing aroma. You shall season all your grain offerings with salt. You shall not let the salt of the covenant with your God be missing from your grain offering. With all your offerings, you shall offer salt. If you offer a grain offering of first fruits to the Lord, you shall offer for the grain offering of your first fruits fresh ears roasted with fire, crushed new grain. And you shall put oil on it and lay frankincense on it. It is a grain offering. And the priest shall burn as its memorial portion some of the crushed grain and some of the oil with all of its frankincense. It is a food offering to the Lord. Praise be to God. The priests were not allowed to own their own cattle, sheep, or fields, so they were qualified to eat these offerings, which were considered holy in God's eyes. Another special detail is that these offerings had to be mixed with salt, which had a special meaning. Salt was often used as a preservative at that time, so the salt in the offerings symbolized the uncorrupted and unchanging covenant between God and His people. Dear friends, God has made an unchanging covenant with you too, and His intention is to love you. Let's respond to Him with love and build a strong and beautiful relationship with Him. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for being the God who is willing to love me and make a covenant with me. I want to respond to you with love, always give a thankful heart to you, and build a beautiful relationship with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.